Okay, in this video we're going to talk about what is a smart contract, so stay tuned. Okay, we're in the Theta wallet here, and if you look at these tabs going across the top, you've got wallet, send, receive, stakes, contract, and settings. A viewer asked what this contract tab is about so let's go in and take a look at that real quick and basically this is where you would set up a smart contract within the Theta wallet and so I'm going to explain at a high level what a smart contract is I'm not going to go into the details of how you would program a smart contract but you see two things that you can do here one is to deploy the contract Contract once it's been created and the other is to interact with the contract once it's been deployed so uh, that's basically it okay let's start by describing a situation where a smart contract could be used as an alternative uh, you have a crowdfunding site known as Kickstarter where somebody has an idea for something they want to produce and maybe they need $10,000 to produce it. So they write it up and they publish it on the Kickstarter website and they publish the idea and the amount of money that they need. The objective of the Kickstarter site is the people, you and me, can donate money to that particular project and once the amount of donations has met or exceeded the stated monetary goal, the Kickstarter site then sends that money on to the project to begin producing whatever it is that they want. And sometimes people put an idea out there, they say they need $10,000, but maybe only uh, $5,000 is donated. And the rules of the site is the project doesn't get the money unless they raise sufficient money to meet the stated goal. So what happens in that situation? Well, then Kickstarter Kickstarter refunds the money back to those who donated it and the fundraising essentially fails. Now let's talk about how a smart contract would work. In the case of Kickstarter, you've got three parties. You've got the Kickstarter company, you've got the project owner, and you've got the crowdfunding company people, you and me, and there's a level of trust that's required there. You're trusting that Kickstarter is going to return the money you donate if the stated goal is not met and the project who's seeking to raise funds is trusting Kickstarter that if the funding goal is met that Kickstarter will in fact send that money on to the project. So there's a level of trust required there by both the project and by the donors to said project. Now with a smart contract, it's what's called a trustless system. And the way it works is it is a program that lives on the blockchain and it is written in such a way that when you donate to that project that automatically if the funding goal is met then the funds are transmitted to the project and if the funding goal is not met the money is refunded automatically to the donors and once a smart contract has been written and deployed it's what's called immutable, meaning it cannot be changed, it cannot be altered, and the code for that smart contract is actually open source, so anybody can go in and look at the code and, and so forth if they understand what they're looking at. So a smart contract removes the need for trusting a third party because it's a contract. So essentially a smart contract has the potential to put crowdfunding sites like Kickstarter and others out of business because there wouldn't be any need for them anymore with a smart contract. So that's what a smart contract is in a nutshell. Okay, if you found this helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me if you would on your way out and I'll see you in the next video.